Ho, ho, ho. A Christmas delivery. Merlin gets a new gadget. Hello, good afternoon. We're out in Merlin and uh, Ellie's got a little gift for Merlin. I have, I have got a little gift for Merlin and it's in one of my hands. Oh, let's go for that one then. Wrong! Oh, must be that one then, unless it's in your other hand. Yeah, here it is. Ah. Here's the little gift. Is this the tiniest gadget we've ever bought for Merlin, do you think? Well, it's got a catchy little name. It's called August. <laughs> Hang on, we're in December. It's Christmas. Sounds a bit weird. Yeah. Oh well, let's see, size, what it, size, let's see what it does. Size isn't everything, darling. No, so they say. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what is this August thing? Well, it's actually an August T405 and it's a DVB player. So what this does, this allows you to watch terrestrial TV on um, an iPhone um, or an iPad or any, any tablet. It doesn't need to be uh, the Apple family. So, and you can um, freeze um, the uh, programs and you can fast forward and, and um, reverse them. So it's like a mini little well, sky box or a BT box um, that actually we can use here in the caravan or even the camper van. <laughs> so what does this come with? Let me show you. Apart from the instructions, which is basically how to unpack it and loads of information about the safety and warranty, which I've never read. Um, but really all you need to know is that you need to download an app to use it. So that app goes onto your phone Android, iPhone, whatever, or onto your tablet. But before I show you it working on uh, on the um, iPad, this is what it comes with. Um, the first thing is, if I can get the elastic band off, it comes with a little mini aerial. Um, that plugs into the device, which I'll do in a minute, and that is magnetic. Uh, so I'll show you how I use that as well shortly. And it also comes with a charging cable um, that, um, well, basically you use to charge it up. I think it lasts for about six hours. It's supposed to do something like that. And it also comes with uh, an adapter. So that could go to a normal TV um, if you wanted to use this little aerial for it. And it also has a little mini aerial which just screws onto the side of that so you can use that on its own. Uh, but what we've found is that this aerial works superb so we'll show you that as well. What we've found is a good way of using this. Uh, this little aerial goes very nicely because that's magnetic. Open the roof. I'm just about tall enough to put that out there. Stick that on the roof. Close that back down again. And we just leave it there. Because this gadget will wirelessly connect to the iPad or the iPhone. And uh, that's how you get your, your TV signal. All will be revealed when I've loaded the app. So, once you've downloaded the app, which is available all sorts of places, the Google Store, um, the Apple Store, or the App Store rather. Um, all you need to do is download the app, which is very, very quick. And then this is it here, Wi-Fi TV. So it's August 405 Wi-Fi TV. 
So I'll turn this on. Should go blue. This connects to the This connects to the app, uh, the iPad using wireless. It's probably already connected now. But let's make sure. No, not yet. So there it is. Wi-Fi TV. Oh, unable to join it. Why is that? Yeah, it's joined it now. So once that's ticked, that's joined it to the Wi-Fi. Once that's connected on the Wi-Fi, you just click on the first time you use it in any location, because that, that area has got to find a signal, you have to um, scan the channels. So just like any um, TV aerial, really. So we scan the channels. Dum de dum de dum. It's going to take a moment or two. We could sing some Christ Christmas carols. Or no, I'd rather not. Ding dong merrily on high <laughs> in heaven the bells. People might be watching this in March. Hmm. Maybe. You don't know any March songs, do you? Easter, maybe. <laughs> don't know when Easter is next year. <laughs> I've not actually scanned it in this location. We're, we're actually on our drive at the moment not actually scanned this location, but it seems to be finding quite a few. I think the most it's ever found is about 280 channels. Very similar to when um, a normal TV tunes itself in with the aerial or the booster box. Mm, Radio Wales and Radio Cymru. Ooh, so you can have it in Welsh or English. Right, that's found uh, 58 channels here. So then you click on live TV. Um, as you can see, it's found two Wales ones, two BBC One. So one would be uh, from one transmitter and one from another. So you just select whichever one was strongest. Got two BBC Twos. So you get the idea. So just select whichever one you want to watch. All day of goofing off to get started. <laughs> First of all, I, I don't, I'm like, what is this character? And, and second, so, what is that thing you're doing with my I'm sure you don't want to actually see all of that, but um, quite into that actually. Well, I don't even know what it is. How to Train Your Dragon. Oh, is it? You might have even had a wizard in it. You never. Oh yeah, know. How to Train Your Dragon too. Yeah. Um, so why do we need this? Well, we don't always need it. Is the question? Is the answer? Um, what I do, as as you probably seen before, I, I use my iPad for watching football. Uh, motor racing, um, a lot of sport really. I've got apps on there for Sky TV, BT and uh, Now TV so I can watch all of those but you need to have a good data signal for that and we found that uh, especially when we're camping somewhere uh, while camping uh, we often don't have a signal whereas if we use this, there's no data involved, um, so there's no 4G needed. It literally is just a digital signal. So it just gives us another option. Uh, as I think I've said previously, we don't watch much TV, um, but because we've got a fixed bed now, we certainly wouldn't want to mount a TV there. Um, and we find that actually we're always moving it around. Depending on what we're doing, we don't just go and watch the TV. You know, we just pick it up when we need to. Would it be fair to say as well that because of that little device it means we don't have to carry lots of other devices with us because you use the iPad for our sat nav? Yeah. So oh yeah, yeah I can do it all on, on the one device. Yeah, so really that little box sort of saves us from carrying yeah. a TV round with us and an iPad. You can just carry yeah, an iPad. Yeah, yeah. And um, also I seem to remember once when we were on a site we... Um, you were watching something on the iPad using site Wi-Fi. Yeah. And I was actually using the device to watch something on my mobile. Yeah, so yeah. So you can do that, but you can only use it on one device at a time. Yeah, this, this will only connect with one device at a, um, time. At a time, yeah. But it can be any... Can yeah, I've device. used it on my iPhone, uh, I've used it on this iPad, and um, we're going to load the software onto um, Ellie's iPad Pro, which is a, a much bigger screen. So, <coughs> so we should be covered... 
for anything we want to watch really. I've just been looking up how much we paid for it and uh, the one we ordered was uh, £48 pounds. Um, but I've just noticed they're out of stock at the moment so good luck if you want to get one. I think Amazon do them but uh, we bought ours from uh, a company called Daffodil I think it was. So yeah we're um, we love it it works out quite well for us thanks to um, a guy called Stephen, Stephen Metcalf I think his surname is uh, on the Facebook group who put me onto this so Thank you, Stephen. Brilliant. Yeah, it was brilliant. It's been a game changer, actually, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. It's been very good for us. Because, um, yeah, we were struggling, weren't well, we, with internet and things when yeah. we were on site. And this has solved this problem for us so far, that. and for a very reasonable price, too. Been here a long time. So, I think we'll leave it there, won't we, Gray? Because yep. we've got a programme to watch. Tea to drink, mince pies to eat. And a corny old Christmas and film to watch. A corny old Christmas film to watch, by the looks of it. Take care guys and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye. bye.